Priyanka, I'm so excited to ask you 73 questions. Me too. It's going to be incredible. What non-work related thing are you most excited about? Oh my God, sleeping tonight. And how long do you plan on staying in New York City for? Just a week. Okay. What's the first thing you do when you go back to Mumbai, India? I take the long drive home from the airport and I put the windows down and let the wind float with my hair. If you and I were to spend 73 hours in India together, what would we be doing? Okay, we will be eating so much, we will party so much, and then I'll make sure I take you on a rickshaw because that's a must. Can you tell me a misconception Americans have about India? That we all have arranged marriages and that we speak a language called Indian. It's like saying I speak American. Okay. Can you tell me a misconception Indians have about Americans? That all Americans are super rich and you can sue anyone here, though that might be true. What is the single greatest thing about America? That it's the land of the free and the home of the brave and cheeseburgers. <laughs> what is the single thing you want to say to everybody in India at this moment? I love you. Also at this moment is a guy down there who wants to shout out a question. Hey, Priyanka! Hey, what's up? Lion King! Always Lion King! <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. Okay. What was the last show that you binge watched? Um, The Crown. What's the coolest thing you've ever done? Skydiving. What was the scariest thing you've ever done? I was in Zimbabwe recently and I ate some worms. Mumpasi worms and they were fried. Mm. What's the most common mispronunciation of your name? Bianca. My name starts with a P and it's Chopra, like Oprah, not Shapra or Shapra or whatever. Noted. What was your best pinch me moment? When I heard that I was on the cover of Time magazine as the 100 most influential people in the world. Mm. It's pretty pinch me. Where do you hope your career takes you in 10 years? <laughs> to global domination. <laughs> would you shave your head for a role? I would totally do that, but I think Pantene would sue me. I'm not allowed to. Which award are you most proud to have received? I've received a Padma Shri, which is basically like getting knighted in India. The president gives it to you, and uh, it's pretty cool. Where do you keep your Miss World crown? I didn't get to keep it, because it was made of solitaires and sapphires, so they took it back. It circulates 50 years now. Do you remember your question from the 2000 competition? Yes, I do. The question yeah. was, who is the living woman you admire the most? Okay. And what did you say? I said Mother Teresa, but she was dead. But I still won. You did. She lives on in my heart. And how would you answer that question now? I would say Michelle Obama. I think she's aspirational, super cool, still at it, and at the same time just real, you know? All right. What do you like on your pizza? Pepperoni and jalapeno. What's one thing you always buy at Duty Free? Um, I buy shoes, lots of shoes. All right. What's your favorite dish your mom cooks? Okay, she's going to kill me, but my mom can't cook. So scrambled eggs, boiled maybe? What's your spirit animal? A phoenix, because I can always rise from the ashes. What's the most romantic thing a guy can do for a girl? You know, surprise a girl. Don't do the whole chocolates and flowers thing. All right, and what's your ideal first date? Fly me to an unknown destination to see the sunset. <laughs> what's the worst pickup line you've ever heard in your entire life? <laughs> oh my God, did you just fart because you blew me away? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your supermodel crush? Um, Tyson Beckford. Uh, what's the most American thing you could say in an American accent? Um, could I have a skinny almond milk latte with no almond and no milk, please? Okay, what's another American thing you can say in a Boston accent? Pack the cat in the yad. I'm never doing Boston again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apka sabse favorite Hindi muhabara kya hai? Well done, Joe. I think I try. Jesse Karni Vesi Bharni. All right. Now, if I wanted to impress some friends with some Hindi slang, what would I say? Okay, cool. Let me think. Um, say, Katle Bita. Katle Le Bita. No. Katle Bita. Katle Le Bita. It means get lost, son. <laughs> uh, do you have any tattoos? Yeah, just one. Okay. It says Daddy's Little Girl, and it's my dad's handwriting. I lost him four years ago. All right. Uh, if you got another tattoo, what would it be? I don't know what it would be, otherwise I would have it by now. Probably over here, though. Now, Priyanka, I am one of your 17 million followers on Instagram. Oh <laughs> and I wanted to know what the deal is with this photo right here. <laughs> this was me playing the Holi with Jimmy Fallon, which is the festival of colors in India, where truth triumphs evil, and it's just, you smear people with, like, the colors, it's great. 
Okay, and what's the story with uh, this one right here? This is little Cindy. She is three years old, and she was obsessed with my tattoo. This is from Zimbabwe. I went for a trip with UNICEF. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the story behind that photo? <laughs> That's the premiere of Baywatch in Miami recently and there were so many people and they were shouting my name and they were loving the premiere that I had to take a picture with them. That's amazing. Now here's a fourth photo, final one. What's the story behind this one? This was my epic Met Gala dress, which I love and I lost the train. Someone from Vogue still has it, by the way. Well, your dress at the Met Gala became a popular meme. It did. Do you have a favorite one? I do, a couple of them. Can we put, up, put them here? Let's do it. Okay, so there was a car, um, a cover of a car, mm -hmm. there's a tent, mm -hmm. and then there's a magical flying carpet with Jasmine <laughs> and Aladdin. It's crazy. It, 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 was fun. it was great, creative. <laughs> Priyanka, is there anything you always travel with? Yeah, I do actually. Um, it's right here. Okay. This is my mandir. It's a little shrine, because I like to pray every morning, so you light a little incense, ring the bell just to ward off evil and start the day in a good, positive note. Nice. Uh, what are the things you always carry in your bag? Um, a girl's bag is a big secret, because I like you, Joe, I'll share it. Okay. How would you classify your style? Um, comfort chic. And who are your style icons? Rihanna, Reka. Okay, look, See always hand cream. Sunglasses, because that's my uniform. Um, gum, oh, two kinds of perfume, because I don't like just one, I like to mix them. <laughs> and my wallet, and definitely hot sauce. <laughs> it's random. You no, sing, we always need hot sauce. Now I heard you sing, Save the Best for Last, I did. at Miss World. What other song do you know by heart? I don't know what they want from me. It's like the more money yeah. we come across, the more problems we see. Our we're going to switch this up. Can you sing a few lines from your favorite Taylor Swift song? Yeah, because everyone has one. Very true. Um, uh, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming That's Goat my Remix. Part of that song. <laughs> now, I heard you had a crush on Tupac Shakur. I did. What would you say is your favorite Tupac song of all time? Hail Mary. And if you could ask Tupac one question, what would it be? Okay, this is serious, all right? I need mm -hmm. you to get down on one knee. Will you marry me? <laughs> Don't laugh, I'm being sincere. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Can you do your best impression of the opening in the Baywatch theme song? Yeah, of course, but we need space for that. Let's so, do it. So, here. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Do -do -do -dish. Do -do -do -dish. It has to be a slow motion. It's so no, stupid. it's great let's like that. Let's go upstairs. All right, let's you do it. You first. Okay. 21st century. Who is your dream co-star? Meryl Streep. Who is your dream on-screen love interest? Roger Rabbit. Okay. If you could play in an iconic male role, which one would it be? Bond. James Bond. If you weren't an actress, what would you be doing with your life? I'd be an engineer at NASA. Okay. What has been your best fan moment so far? Um... This fan of mine, she got me to sign her hand and tattooed it. So my signature is her tattoo. It's pretty crazy. Wow. And awesome. What's one thing you hope no one will be talking about next year? Donald Trump's tweets. <laughs> What's the most physically impressive thing that you know how to do? I can't do it right now because I'm wearing a dress, but I can put my leg behind my head. It's pretty cool. Would you say that you're good at lying? Of course. I'm an actress. I'm a professional liar. And I get paid for it. Now, you went to an army public school. What was that like? It was awesome, actually. It really taught me the value of discipline. Right. How many cities have you lived in? Oh my God, so many. Delhi, Pune, Mumbai, LA, New York, Miami, I mean, not Miami, Boston, Indianapolis, Cedar Rapids, um, Pune, Ladakh. I traveled all the time. My dad was in the army. Uh, what's the most important lesson in manners you learned growing up? Please, sorry, and thank you. And always stand up when someone else does. If your life were a book, what would the title be? Unfinished. Now, Priyanka, I heard that you perform your own stunts on set. What's been your most dangerous accident? I got electrocuted on set once, which was pretty oh. crazy, and I cut myself today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can you give us a tour of your body hey, hey. based on your scars? Okay, okay. Good okay. thing you caught yourself there, mm -hmm. mister. <laughs> um, here, I punched out a clay something, I don't know for what. Okay. 
This was from my movie Bajira Mastani, which is a period drama. So jewelry did that to me. Ouch. This is from Good Morning America. So ah. many. Can you show me the coolest move that you learned from the FBI when you were training for Quantico? Well, you stand up for that. Okay. So you hit someone here in the neck so they can't breathe and you go, bah! and then you hit someone in their solar plexus and that just doubles them over. Bah! And it's gotta be fast. Can you demonstrate some of those punches on this clown right here? I don't like clowns. I hit you, clown! Ah! God. Sorry. Just makes me scared. Okay. What three things are at the top of your bucket list? Um, okay, to go to every island in the world, have lots of babies, and uh, the third thing would be... I don't know, I'm still thinking about what my third one would be. <laughs> What's the world's most pressing issue today? I think the fact that we don't take care of our children the way we should. If you ran for office, what would your platform be? Um, education and trying to eradicate poverty. You were once named one of the most intriguing people of the year. Who do you find intriguing? Queen Elizabeth. Because I just saw Crown and no one knows too much about her, you know? And you've been described as a shiro. Who are your shiros? My mom. She's definitely my shiro. Okay, this next one's weird. It's from my friend Fran. If you were to rob a bank with one kitchen utensil, what would it be? Um, a wine opener, because it has so many different types of things that I could use it for various things. <laughs> All right, now last question. Question number 73. What would you want question number 74 to be? You look so hungry, Pri. Would you like some lunch? I'll remember <laughs> that for next time. And as a callback to our manners, let's get up. Thanks and say thank you so much, it's been incredible. Bye.